The 33 engines on the Super Heavy combined to produce an insane thrust of 16.7 million pound force. The second stage Starship sits atop Super Heavy and holds the payload to be transported to the destination. Both the Starship and Super Heavy are the largest of their respective class and combined they are taller than the Statue of Liberty. With such huge size comes a massive capacity. The Starship can accommodate up to 100 people at a time for months, complete with all the facilities to not just be comfortable but also be entertained and that's not all. The system is fully and rapidly reusable, which is more than can be said about the next best thing NASA's space launch system also under development. This is a mass massive plus over other types of space vehicles. Being reusable means major elements of the system which are usually jaw-droppingly expensive are not discarded in the sea or allowed to burn up. Instead they land majestically on the ground, undergo maintenance, get refueled and take off into the skies again. This greatly reduces cost and improves speed of operations in a way that makes regular space travel not so impossible anymore. Mars or the Moon could soon be the next street. This was billionaire Elon Musk's vision for the system right from the start. It is what the US military seems to need at these volatile times and it is what NASA has been hoping to see for decades. In fact, SpaceX is working closely with NASA in a NASA program to make the Starship a reality and execute its missions as planned. This NASA program is known as Artemis and Artemis is split into multiple milestones. NASA awarded a $2.9 billion contract to SpaceX in 2021 to provide a Starship vehicle as the human landing system for the mission. Groundbreaking and sci-fi as the Starship system is, its destiny isn't too far into the future, in fact the system already has a customer ready to visit space in it the Japanese billionaire Yusaka Mizawa. Starship is already in its testing phase on November 18th in South Texas the system underwent its second test flight it would end in an explosion yes you heard that right with the Starship seated atop super heavy. The booster was ignited spitting fire like the world's largest flamethrower the system took off the trial mission aimed to send the Starship most of the way around Earth from SpaceX's star-based site in South Texas to a patch of the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii. In a significant development for SpaceX, the rocket booster was successfully able to separate from the spacecraft. A major leap from the previous test flight which also ended in an explosion about two minutes into its second trial flight. Super Heavy began powering down all but three of its 33 Raptor engines and igniting. The six Raptor engines on the Starship before the two vehicles separated from each other, this was the first time this technique would be done successfully with a vehicle of this size. Once separated from the rocket booster the Starship powered by its six engines climbed to a maximum altitude of about 90 mi and a blurry hypersonic top speed of Mach 19. The Super Heavy journey wouldn't be as smooth. 3.5 minutes after launch 91 mi over the Gulf of Mexico, the Super Heavy booster exploded it was the fail-safe SpaceX had in place to ensure the whole test is halted instantly when something goes wrong. Apparently shortly after Super Heavy reached space contact was lost with the spacecraft and that was enough reason for the company to trigger the spacecraft's self-destruct fail-safe. The test wasn't a success but wasn't entirely a failure either. According to SpaceX success comes as a result of what the company learns from events such as this. And if there's one thing we know about SpaceX it's that they do learn once. The lessons are learned and the Starship's flight perfected the sky is truly the starting point from there for all stakeholders involved most urgently for the military. Being able to rapidly deploy cargo across long distances quickly would have notable benefits in the context of the Indo-Pacific, particularly since figures within the US military envision a likely near-term high-end conflict against China in the region. China has promised that it will absorb Taiwan into its territory for historical reasons while the US has promised it will not let that happen. And both world powers are ready to go to war over their promises. So the applications for the Starship are limitless, it could fulfill SpaceX's dream of making humans a multiplanetary species. It could help NASA explore pockets of space that they once couldn't and it could enable the US military become an unrivaled force in two worlds the future will no doubt be interesting. A third Starship test is coming up within a month to wish the Starship the best give this video a like and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.